So, welcome back to Star Made News. This week I've got an official post to bring to your attention. So, uh, without further ado, let's have a look at the New Year's News by Cal Beery. Um, he's hoping everybody's had a great holiday. So, I'm going to go over this. The news page has been slow lately. This is mostly due to Schema being busy with his family holidays and focused on coding and bug fixing. And he's not in a coma, silly trolls. I start by introducing myself to those who don't know me. I am Calibri, Calbiri. Sorry, I keep saying Calibri. It's my bad. Calbiri. He's a veteran player and community member. He's been helping Schema with some system concepts in the game, and we'll be looking at that in just a sec. We'll also be helping. He'll also be interacting more more than before as PR guy. He'll be handling some of the news posts for now, and hopefully that'll mean you'll see a lot more of something, even if it is a meaningless nothing today, folks. For today, I'll just go on with a few bits of news. There's a new site on the horizon. I know many of you have heard this before, but this time it's official. The site is nearing completion and is going through some final configurations and testing. We'll get you more news on this as soon as we can. <clears throat> no patch yet. Sorry, there's no patch tonight. Schema is working hard on solving existing bugs in the game, especially those caused by the recent major code changes. That being said, you've all been extremely helpful in finding the bugs in the current and recent builds. Thank you. Something to look forward to. Finally, something I've been wanting to tell you about for quite a while, there is a big new weapon system in the works. It won't be in the next patch, sorry. Also, it will not break your existing weapon systems, except missiles. But some major balancing system, uh, changes will occur uh, and most occur for this system to be integrated. So be ready to experimenting with some new balances when the time comes. To start, new, two new weapon blocks will be added to the game. Beams, aka lasers, and mine layers. In addition, the pulse weapon will have damage added to it and its push disorient effect removed to be used in a separate new system. More on that another time. Missile blocks will be consolidate, consolidated into one block type However, you will retain access to three tracking types via the new system. Beams will, as their name implies, visually function like lasers uh, or beams. They will pulse every time a damage tick occurs instead of a constant beam. Mine layers will face a sector limit on the number of mines that can be present. Sadly, there's no option for performance reasons. Cannons, AMCs, function the same but their stats will be established differently than you're used to. Your previous cannons may not have quite the same range, damage, rate of fire, and so on, so you may need to make adjustments. That brings us to five basic weapon types. Cannon, missile, beam, pulsar, and mine layer. However, you'll be able to combine these systems to achieve new effects and alter weapon behavior. This will work as a master and slave system. The master system is the weapon that's actually firing. The slave system is a weapon that has been linked to another to alter its behavior. A slave system will no longer fire, however the master system will have the strength of both systems blocks combined. By allowing each of the five basic weapons to link together and create hybrids, the result is five to the five variations of weapon behavior, or 25 weapons. Some will behave very similarly, others may offer new approaches to combat and warfare. So now we're going to take a look at this. I'm just going to scale this page up a little bit so we can uh, get a nice close look here. So this may pixelate a little on your screen. So a cannon and a cannon gives you a rapid cannon. A cannon and a missile gives you a shotgun cannon. A cannon and a beam gives you a sniper cannon. A uh, cannon and a pulsar gives you artillery cannon. A cannon and a flak Sorry, cannon and a mine layer gives you a flat cannon, and so on. <laughs> What's really interesting for me is all these new beam lasers. I'm liking this. We've got rapid burst, needle shotgun, long range maser, heavy siege laser, and a massive charge laser. I mean, there's some seriously cool stuff in here, so I, for one, can't wait to build a ship to demonstrate each, uh, which is going to happen. So, like, I would say I'll probably do it on the day it comes out. But it won't be the next patch. It's, this is scheduled for patch after next, which should be coming soon. So, you know, I don't know. I'll estimate it at next month and be happy.
but I wouldn't want to push him because I just can't wait for the new patch. That's still got loads of stuff in it, which we're waiting for. So, so I just wanted to bring that to you guys. You want to go to starmade.org slash content slash new dash years dash news or just click on news when you're on the actual website and you'll find it in there so news it's in there but yeah I'll put a link in the description for this post thanks Calberry for uh, stepping up and providing us with some news that's cool and I can't wait to hear from from you more in future so um, just finally, Calvary is saying, don't worry about numbers and balancing. We've balanced as much as possible for now, and we'll make adjustments based on playtesting after release. And he's looking forward to see what everyone does with it. And so am I. So, that's pretty much it this week. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.